Awesome. Oh, it's recording. Hello, everybody. I missed uh, Monday's episode of One Life to Live. And I missed Tuesday's episode of One Life to Live. I just caught yesterday's. It was really depressing. Damn, Victor was lying dead on the floor, bleeding to death. Damn, Tay, I can see it. Of course she did. Miss, they don't like her. And they don't like poor Victor. And there's definitely no coming back from that. They showed him in the body bag. They showed him all zipped up. John came in and asked questions. Which, of course, there's going to be two conclusions that everyone's automatically going to think is um, Todd did it, the real Todd, in order to get vengeance, because he said it about 20,000 times he was going to kill him. But the way he was at the docks and the way he was talking, I don't think it was him. At least I'm hoping it wasn't him. Which, of course, then everyone's going to turn to who threatened him next, Brody, which I don't think it was him. I mean, at first I did. I won't lie. The first thing, as soon as it's like Victor got shot and everyone's going to blame Todd, my first thought ran to Brody. It's kind of like you blame the, blame the Hamburglar when someone said some burgers went missing. But sometimes, sometimes it's Ronald just trying to be a dick. Anyway, back to One Life to Live. Um, I'm thinking possibly uh, Irene, but once again, I didn't watch the episode, so I don't know where she was. She was still detained if she was in a jail cell or not. Um, and I haven't seen you, so this is the video before then. I'm going to watch uh, the other two episodes after I watch today's episode of One Life to Live. So then I'm going to actually find out for sure. But right now, my first thought right now is uh, Irene did it. Oh, and to all the... Um, People who are wondering about Destiny, all that stuff, Nora and Destiny's grandmother, who, by the way, is a complete nutter, biatch. Um, Nora is a complete nutter, biatch. I thought Bo was going to be the, the, the middle ground there and try to break those two up by just saying, Nora, let's go. Which, I know you want to be respectful of your wife in front of other people, but honestly, I might have just looked at her and said, honey... Um, screw dessert. I'm just going to go home. I mean, if you want to stand here and nag at somebody, by all means, I'm going to leave now because you're just making it uncomfortable for everybody. And, and then she she basically tried to show her a piece of paper that said, we have right to the baby, like the baby is a piece of freaking property. Granted, while the, the grandmother really doesn't care either, or now she's a great-grandmother when the baby comes out, really doesn't give a crap, and I don't care what anyone says, she's just... Numero uno supremo, biatch, just like Nora. Honestly, I'm just hoping in one episode they just start smacking the crap out of each other. They get put in two separate cells right next to each other. Kind of like how, you know, Nikki and Dorian worked out their issues. Because you don't want them in the same cell because they might just start smacking the crap out of each other again. But just put them in two separate. That way they have to tolerate each other for a while. And just like leave them there for like two, three hours, which in soap world is like 15 minutes. Actually, it depends on time, but you get the idea. Just say, just say work their crap out without putting their husbands in the way or kids in the way or grandkids in the way. And no one else has to deal with their BS. But honestly, I'm hoping that they put that in an episode so that way they kind of get over their bull, bull crap about I'm what's best for Destiny's Child. No, I'm what's best. And just realize that Destiny obviously made a mature decision. Destiny obviously was overlooking everything. And both those two are just really obnoxious. Seriously. I mean, I couldn't say anything about the uh, her husband, um, uh, Destiny's grandfather, because he, re he really never spoke. But, yeah, he seems like a cool dude, because I know Bo's a cool dude, so... They should go off bowling, leave those two in a jail cell for about two, three hours, and let them yeah, work some crap out. Anyway, um, oh, those questions. What do you think is going to happen between those two, between um, uh, Nora, the pain in the butt, and what's her name's uh, grandmother? How do you think they're going to work that out? Two, who do you think killed Victor? And three, who did actually steal the hamburgers? Anyway, comment down below in this section right down here. Oh, and remember. Oh, crap, now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I just remember and then I forgot. Anyway, that's all. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Oh, but don't comment about what happened in the other two episodes because I want to watch them.